What's up, man? Sir Benedict Corgi Botch. Hey. What's up, buddy? What's up, lucky dog? What's up, lucky dog? Come here, lucky dog. He grinning. He grinning. Your Elvis luck there. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, oh. Ben, what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I am, uh, I'm pretty uh, astounded right now. Look at this guy. This is a real grand cichlid all the way down here in Ingleside. Hey, 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 hey. And this is one of the bigger ones that I've ever seen. Holy Cripoli, this is a big one. Hey, dude. I had no idea there was Rio Grande cichlid in Live Oak Pond. This is the craziest catch that I have ever come across here. This is ridiculous. These are river fish. That's the biggest one I've ever caught, too. This is ridiculous. Oh, he's got some little chompers on there. Man, look at the size of this cichlid. Holy crap. And what is he doing? Look at the teeth on him, too. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's why I didn't put my mouth in there. I knew these guys had some teeth. And that's a big male. Look at the hump on his head. What a beautiful cichlid. I don't know, man. That's, that's a record for live oak. That's for sure. That's definitely a record. I had no idea that cichlid even lived here. Oh, my God. What a beauty, though beautiful cichlid oh my god that was the last thing i would have expected uh to have been on my line and guys as soon as i put this little popper on i'm going to show you the popper here in a second uh as soon as i put that on last two i mean two casts in a row have been fish let's just see what this guy weighs i just i'm very interested because this is a record. Look at that. One pound, 11 ounces. Pound and three quarter cichlid. Look at that. That is a beast of a cichlid. Oh. All right, guys, let's get this guy back in the water. He's been out for a little bit, maybe a little too long. But, uh, oh, what a beautiful fish. On the popper. These fish are hitting top water right now. Look at that beauty. God, he's big. One pound, 11 ounces. Rio Grande Cichlid down here at Live Oak Park, Ingleside, Texas. Crazy. Crazy. Look at those chompers. Whew. He just wants a piece of my finger. All right, guys. There he goes. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, guys, I'm really surprised uh, to find the cichlid down here. Somebody had to have put them in here because uh, those are not native to this pond. I, I've never caught one, never seen one here, uh, except in the Rio Grande River and uh, Guadalupe and all that, Frio. Uh, crazy catch, but I'm going to show you this popper real quick. I've never used it. I found it at another pond and uh, just never used it. But, uh, let me get her out of the pads right here. This is it, right here. This little guy right here, he's got a little, uh, a little feather trailer on the back. He's got two rattles, just a nice color. It is slaying them right now. Two casts in a row. Let's try to make it three for three. Let's go, baby. 
All right, guys, I'm just working this popper right here on these points, and these fish are just slamming it. This third cast. We're, we're getting some top water bites today, so this is pretty exciting. It's my favorite kind of bite is a top water. I don't know if you've seen my Whopper Plopper videos, but those were my favorite days of fishing. It's when I first started fishing, and top water bite was pretty amazing in the late summer. Throwing a Whopper Plopper, catching biggins. There it is again. There it is again. Oh. Oh. Did you see that? He went after it. Definitely went after it. He just missed it. He went after it twice, too. Oh, this is so fun. I'm so excited, guys. Top water is here. Finally. There it is there. Ooh. <laughs> this is three casts in a row with at least a bite. This is amazing. Can't believe I'm getting bites on this either. This is this is a, a lure that I found at a pond. Oh my god, that was a good hit over there. Just gonna give one more shot over here, see if I can pick up one more fish, and then I'm gonna start moving and working this pond with this top water. It's gonna be a really good day. It's gonna be a banger video. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, baby. Hit that little bell. Whoo, that's big over there. Whatever that is. Ooh, I can't wait to start using this more often. Oh my God. Catch a Rio Grande cichlid here in Ingleside, Texas. That is amazing. I'm so, I'm like shaking right now. Feels like the back to the first days of fishing for bass. guys are a little a little deeper out there so let's get this guy out about right there give him a pop hope y'all guys can see kind of the reactions on the top of the water I know it's a little hard seeing way out there but missed it I missed him god he was like running with it and he just let it go I don't know what that was either might have been a turtle hopefully not a turtle like my popper disappeared I feel some tuggers on it Guys, swim pretty weird. Let's get this guy out there, man. I'm so excited that top water is finally back. Man, I've been, I've been needing some top water for a while. There he is. Oh, he spit it. 
Golly. I don't know if y'all saw that. Y'all could see that, right? I hope. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, I love top water bites. Notice this guy's throwing a huge swim bait and he hadn't caught nothing. He hadn't figured out the top water bite is back on. He has not figured it out yet. I need to get this guy a little deeper out there. Just waiting for a strike that's all that's what's nice about the poppy just throw it out there pop it a few times let it sit pop it once let it sit and just wait for the explosion to happen it's bound to happen i've had, I've had at least a bite on almost every cast so far every cast except maybe two Fish, dude. Got him foul hook too. That's not. That's no bueno. Right on the belly. Wow. How did I catch you there, my friend? Little bass. But still, hitting the top waters. Fun, fun stuff. Get out of here. Fun, fun stuff. I'm telling you, this popper right here is a killer. And I just found out this morning. Perfect. This is so fun. <sighs> I thought it was a good one, but he was foul hooked. We won't count that one. I don't like to count uh, 
foul hook fish. Uh, still a catch, but try not to count them. I don't know what happened. Looked like he swiped at it, and when I tugged, it it just hit him right in the stomach. All right, guys, let's get a move on to some of the more primo spots. Let's get a get a move. More primo spots, guys. All right, guys, and we've made it. Let's try the old pop, pop a lop out on this side. See what happens. I know we can catch some big ones. Got my uh, jacket. Strings keep getting in the way. Beautiful conditions, overcast, barely, I mean, just a breeze happening right now. Trying out in the open, then I'm gonna work these pad areas. I don't think there's any bass uh, roaming around in the middle. I think they're all working these pad, pad lines, grass lines. My heart is absolutely pounding after the last couple of fish. Yeah, these, these bass are working these grass lines and stuff. Let's get her out there. Oh my God. That's the only thing about a popper is it gets stuck in the pads. Never, never good. Oh, he let it go. Did y'all see that? Oh my God. There he is. Oh, that was so cool. Just a little guy, but we will still take him on the top. We'll still take him on the top. Just a little guy, but still fun on the top water. Nice little bass. Heck yeah. There he is. There he is. Uh, there he is. I hope y'all saw that.
Oh yeah. Easy buddy, easy. Another fish on the popper. That's what I like, baby. Not a big one, but uh, just another beautiful fish on the popper, man. That is the bait of the day, it's the popper. Showing this guy what is up with his sleeved rods. I love to fish with somebody else who just thinks that the top gears what's gonna catch some fish. I love it. This is gonna be a tough cast. We're getting it out there. Do you see that on the second twitch over there? That fish came and hit it on the second twitch. Bop, bop, smash. Bop, bop, smash. That bait is way too far out there in the meat owl. I need this guy like right there. There we go. Go twitch, twitch, smash. No, I'm just kidding. I don't work like that every time. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I gotta keep myself entertained. Throwing a popper is, uh, it is fun while you get the reaction, but when, when you're not getting hit, it is one of the most boring baits to throw. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> you done? Anyway. fish will come and get it right here. There's no way it will. Let's see if we can get this fish to bite. Like right here. Bait looks really good in the water. I had no idea. It looked that good. Oh God, that would have been horrible. Oh, we're just trying, we're just messing around right now. Seeing how this bait looks. I love it, I love the way it looks. The way it walks, when it pops. It's just a really good bait and I had no idea. It's been sitting in my car for, I don't know how long, months.
There he is. Oh, that was so cool. All of y'all saw that. Don't jump, don't jump. This is a good sized bass too. It is long. Oh, he's beautiful. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Okay. Dude, you're making it worse. You are making it worse by doing that. Alright. Got a nice new little bass on the popper. Even while the wind's blowing, that's what's surprising me. That's our biggest one of the day. That's more like it. Nice little pounder. Found on a quarter. On the popper, baby. Let's go. Shout out to the guy on the other side who hasn't caught anything and hogging up the good spot. So here's a shout out to you, big guy. Nice little fish though. Get it back in. Woo, feisty little guy. Okay. Feisty out of Poppers becoming the new favorite bait. The popper. fuck do you think you're gonna catch? That fucking thing. There he is. Ain't going nowhere, Bubba. Ain't going nowhere, Bubba. Ain't going nowhere, Bubba. Oh, don't shake. Ain't going nowhere, Bubba. All right. Another. That was as soon as it hit the water, guys. I hope y'all saw that. That was absolutely awesome. Well, another one down for the popper. That's our probably our largest fish here. Second largest. Nice little bass. Popper is working all day today. Haven't thrown anything else. Just the popper. Mm, smelling like a cold front baby get this guy back in here there we go. another fish on another fish on on the popper baby popper's killing it today he's trying to run he's trying to run i got him all hooked too Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Well, is that a cigarette butt? That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh no, it's just reeds. Oh, right in the dome. You're all right, buddy. Another nice little fish on the popper, baby. Top water's killing it. Yeah. 
top water popper. Absolutely killing it. That was good. Stupid pad. Even with the wind blowing, popper's still hit, hitting strong, which I'm very surprised on. Always thought wind made it very hard for poppers. It's not every cast like a... There's another one! Yeah, baby! Just as I was saying that, it's not every cast, but... These poppers are doing work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not the big guys. Not the big guys that we're after. But definitely a lot, a lot of fun. Hey, 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 whoa. Easy buddy. Please don't shake while I'm getting these hooks out. There you go, buddy. I don't get that one out of your fin. I don't want to break. Eh, you're alright. You're alright, little guy. Look how long and colorful he is. Man, he's got some greens on him. Really light. Just an interesting looking. Much different from the other one I just caught. But a lot of fun, guys. Top water popper straight fishing killing it let's go oh yeah these fish are pretty cold they're not they're not warm like they were a few days ago before this cold front there he goes kicking up dust anymore A fish? Look at that fish on. That's a big old bluegill. Look at this guy. Yeah. Big old bluegill. I think I think that's what these are. Not too sure. Okay, dude. Look how pink he is. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. I don't think it's a blue. Yeah, he might be a bluegill. He's got a little bit right there. He's just pink, a little yellow. Beautiful fish. That was on the micro. Look how pink he is over here in this backside. Absolutely beautiful fish. Large mouths too. I don't, not sure what these are. Comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think this uh, species is. This is species number three today, actually, guys. So that's a uh, got largies, real grand cichlid. And this little guy right here. 
Beautiful. Just throw them back. Yeah, yo. Let's go, baby. I'm also going to mention, guys, last night was a full moon. So this is post full moon fishing that we're doing. Uh, really surprising the results I'm getting today. Uh, but couldn't ask for anything better. I'm gonna explain to y'all uh, when I get back to the car too why I uh, why I'm fishing so much every day. Um, been a struggle. Kind of a sad story, but uh, you know, it's led me to bass fishing. Oh my God, that was a tug. Oof, tug a rooski. As I was saying, I'm gonna tell y'all my story and why I bass started bass fishing three months ago. Four months ago now um, so stay tuned that story is going to be coming up what's up guys what a day on the water top water so much fun nothing better than top water bite um so let me let me tell y'all why I, I do this every day uh bass fishing anyway uh why i started to bass fish about three and a half months ago um i'll just make it a short story well i won't give you all the details anyway um about three and a half months ago i'm getting off work and uh go to the corner store and uh witness a 23 year old um uh, kid get shot and killed i mean just right in front of me um just happened like you know just like that uh how things escalated uh and uh, i've been dealing with depression for about 10 years before that incident happened and uh, when that happened i had just had no idea what to do who to talk to uh how to fill that time uh, that empty space where, you know, you're just constantly thinking about the situation every minute. And, uh, you're even thinking of worse situations that could have happened. Uh, anyway, so I started bass fishing, found this little pond here at Live Oak. And, uh, since then, I've, it's been my therapy. So, uh, that's why I do it. Uh, that's why I get very excited whenever I catch any fish. Doesn't matter the size. Uh, you see me get excited over a little one pound bass uh, simply just because it is therapy to me uh, so anyway that's why i do it so i hope y'all enjoyed this morning's video stay tuned for more topwater action hopefully uh, the weather stays like this uh, for the season and uh, get you some more videos so stay tuned subscribe to the channel smash that like button click that little bell whenever you want to get more videos from straight fishing. We'll be seeing y'all. Later.